Hi everyone, are you having problems putting your Raspberry Pi? Well, here are some tips you can try to get your Raspberry Pi working again. So the first and most common thing that I would recommend you try is to try to fix the operating system. Now, if you have had multiple operating systems you've tried, then you might want to skip to the next one. But basically, you can fix the operating system and may be able to get it booting again. So if you have a problem with your operating system, the first thing that I would like you to try is remove the micro SD card and put it into a Windows computer. And so when you plug it in, if you have this problem, you will get these pop up and you just click the pop up message and click scan and fix. Then you click repair drive. It will scan and repair here and usually it says that it didn't even fix anything whereas it actually did. But regardless of what it says, try it in your Pi again. If it still doesn't work, you can move on to the next step. So the next thing to try is a little bit more complicated. Basically you want to flash a new image of Raspberry Pi OS or the same operating system, whatever operating system is not booting. You basically want to flash that to another card and then basically you copy everything from the boot partition. You copy everything from the good card to the bad card that should fix the boot partition. And if that still does not work and if you are still sure it's the operating system, then basically you want to insert the card into another Linux based system and you can back up your files. So if you have important files on your card, you basically insert it. It has to be a Linux system. It can't be Windows or Mac OS. And then just copy your files. So you, if it's in the home directory, you can go home Pi, and then it has everything right here and you copy everything to that computer and you can recover your files. Now, if it's not the operating system and your Pi is just not booting at all, here's another fix you can try. Download Raspberry Pi Imager if you haven't already, then open it up, click yes at the admin prompt if you are using Windows. Now you do choose OS, then you go down to the miscellaneous utility images, then you go bootloader, then you go SD card boots usually, but you can do any of these you use. And so you do that, you do choose storage, you select a blank micro SD card or one that you don't need, whatever is on it. And then you click write, you click yes, and it will write these. Now you want to go ahead and insert that card into your Raspberry Pi and then flip the power switch or plug it in and you get this green screen right here. And so then you can basically, the act light will flash just like that. And you basically just turn off your Pi and see if that works. That should fix your problem. It will basically flash a new bootloader to your Raspberry Pi. So Pis are really hard to get bricked. And so this is what you can do to recover a Pi that you think is bricked. So this next fix is if your Raspberry Pi boots sometimes, but not every time. So basically what you want to do is head over to the terminal and you want to type sudo raspi dash config. Then you press enter and it will bring up this configuration tool. You want to go to advanced options and then you want to do bootloader version. And then you want to do either latest or default, but I'm going to do latest right here. And you do enter for yes. And basically this will update the bootloader. So if you have an older buggier version, you do that. And so you just navigate with the arrow keys here and you reboot when you are done and see if that fixes your problem. So the next thing is kind of two things, but basically you check your power supply. You want it to be a good power supply, a stable power source and enough power to get you by. 
and then you also physically check your Raspberry Pi for signs of damage. See if anything is loose on the Pi, so you can just take it out like this and make sure that the power plug is making good contact and everything is unharmed. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, we will see you next time. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed it. Uh...